Some of you have been asking. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. As I mentioned in the intro, today we're starting a new series on small concealed carry handguns. Before I review some of the newest guns in the category, though, I thought it might be a good time to do a formal review on this, my personal concealed carry weapon. I'll give you some basic specs, then we'll take a look at how it's performed for me over the almost five years I've been carrying it, and then I'll give you some likes and dislikes. Now, before we get started, I just wanted to mention that there will be a link in the description to the blog post where I keep links to everything I talk about in my videos. So if you're interested in anything I talk about today, you can find more info there. The Shield 45 was introduced in 2016 as the bigger brother to the Shield 9mm, and it's been in steady production ever since. It was noteworthy when it was introduced because it helped roll in some of the improvements to the M1.0 models that eventually became the M2.0 models. The Shield 45 is 6.5 inches long, it's 4.74 inches tall, and it is 0.96 inches wide, so it's less than an inch wide. That width is particularly notable since it's chambered in a larger caliber, 45 ACP. It's got a polymer frame and a striker fire trigger system. The grip angle is the familiar 1911 style angle. The slide is stainless steel and it's coated in armor knight, which is Smith & Wesson's proprietary coating. And it's got the MMP fish scale serrations on the rear and a little bit on the front here as well. Underneath that slide is a 3.3 inch barrel and it comes from the factory with one six round flush fit magazine and one seven round extended magazine. My shield is a performance center model, which means that it comes with a few upgrades over a standard shield. The performance center upgrades on this gun are the ported barrel and slide that you can see there. It's got fiber optic front and rear sights, and it's got a factory tuned trigger system. The trigger on my model now breaks a little under five pounds, and it often feels lighter than that because the action is so smooth. The wall is solid without being overly hard to break through. Check that we're clear so I can show y'all. So the wall is solid without being overly hard to break through, and the reset is very tactile and very audible. I got this in December 2017 and I've been carrying it ever since. The only modifications I've done to it are a little bit of white paint on the front side there that's kind of chipping off as you can see, and the addition of the Holosun HS407K red dot. Now this model didn't come optic ready so I had to get the slide machined with an Optica to mount it. I sent it out to Doug at DP Custom Works to have that done and now the optic mounts very securely to the slide. I also, you noticed, have a Hive plus one base plate on the factory seven round magazine for a total of eight rounds. Otherwise, this thing is completely stock with about 2,600 rounds through it at the time that I am filming this video. Now, reliability is one of the things that I bought the shield for. Smith & Wesson is an old company with a history of good products. As I mentioned to date, this shield has about 2,600 rounds through it. Most of that is 230 grain full metal jacket ammo, both commercial and hand loads that I use for range practice, and a good number of 185 grain Barnes Tech XPD hollow points as well, which is my preferred carry ammo. Now, to give you some background, since this is my carry weapon, it's with me all the time. I carry this between eight and 10 hours a day, sometimes up to 16 hours. I do stuff around the house with it on, I work on the car with it on, sometimes I fall asleep with it on. It gets dirty, it gets dusty, it gets sweaty, you name it. You can tell there's dust and rub marks all over this thing. Despite all that, I'm happy to report that I have never had a single malfunction with the shield in the entire time I've owned it. That means no failures to feed, no failures to eject, no failures to ignite, no failures with inserting or dropping magazines, no failures with the slide locking back, none of that. It runs clean, it runs dirty, whether it's hot out or cold out, with any kind of ammo in the mag, it's 100% reliable all the time in every way, and I absolutely love it for that. Now, as far as accuracy goes, I can say that this thing is as accurate as you would want a concealed carry weapon to be. It shoots very accurately out to 25 yards, which is the maximum of my local range. It can be a bit of a handful, especially with those 185 grain hollow point carry loads. But again, that can be mitigated with proper technique. Uh, the awesome grip texture helps out with that. And the porting on the barrel and slide also help out with that. Now, really quick, I'll do a couple of things I like about the shield. I won't go into too much detail since I already did a whole video on this, which I will link in the description. But the things I like most about the Shield 45 are the grip texture and the small overall size. The grip texture is typical M2.0 aggressive, which is exactly how I like it. It really digs into your hand and gives good purchase all the way around the grip. Some would say it's a little too aggressive for them or that it rubs them when they're carrying it, but I've not found either of those to be true in my experience. Now, again, this is my personal preference. I love aggressive grips. This is perfect for me. So your results may vary and that's totally fine. The small size is the second thing I love about this thing. It's small and thin and sometimes it makes me forget I'm carrying it, but it's got a full enough grip both in the length and in like the distance around that I can get a comfortable full grip on it even with the flush fit magazine. 
And that was one reason why I chose this 45 over the 9, since the 9, is the grip is just a little bit shorter and I can't really get my pinky solidly on it. Now, since I talked about some things that I do like, it's only fair that I talk about some things that I don't like, because no gun is perfect, right? First off for me here that I don't like is the lack of aftermarket support for the Shield 45, both compared to the 9mm Shield and just in general. It's harder to find things like magazines and holsters for this model, lights, uh, because it's just not as popular or as common as the 9, and that's something that I've just learned to live with. Now, the second thing that I would have to say I don't like as much, of course, is capacity. While 6 or 7 rounds is perfectly adequate in terms of capacity, it pales in comparison to the 10, 11, sometimes 13 rounds the other Micro 9s have these days. Without getting into much of a ballistics discussion, in general, more capacity is better, and the Shield 45 is definitely lacking there compared to the newer weapons. The third thing that I don't really love about the shield is the trigger shoe. Now, while I've gotten used to it and I don't really notice it now, I do have to say that the way that Smith & Wesson have hinged this trigger safety is really not the greatest. Now, this is obviously something that they've heard from other customers as the newest MNP and MNP Shield Plus models all have a flat face trigger shoe, which I think works a lot better. So that's it. A long-term review of my personal Shield 45. 2,600 rounds later, and I still really like this thing. While there are some things about it that definitely fall short compared to more recent concealed carry weapons, I think that I'm going to keep this thing at least a little while longer. If you know someone who's looking for a concealed carry weapon that might be interested in a Shield 45, share them this video. It really helps get the algorithm going and get these videos out as far as possible. Now, coming up, like I mentioned, we have reviews on more concealed carry handguns in this category, so if that's something that interests you, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Again, throw me a like if you appreciate what I'm doing, and don't forget to ring that bell on your way out. That's all I've got for you this time, so until next time, stay safe.